I just want to come on here real quick and leave my opinion on the Nickelodeon documentary series, Quiet on a Set. I watched all four episodes. I was totally heartbroken. And I don't understand why anyone would want to get into the industry, as they call it. You would think that as a child actor, you would have, you know, precautions and like rules and regulations set up to protect you. And, you know, so, you know, child labor laws and all that. But obviously that was not the case. People just didn't care. And, you know, when you brought up concerns, like you were told basically, oh, you're going to do this or you'll never work in this field again. That's ridiculous. And the stuff that like Amanda Bynes went through. Like, I'll admit, I never really watched the Amanda show or all that just because it wasn't really, like, the humor wasn't really up my alley. But what she went through, no one should have to go through. What Drake fell through, no one should have to go through. No child should ever be harmed. And I'll go off on a tangent on this. Like, it's not only in the industry. It's also now, because I've talked about it before, Scientology. And it's just all about the kids. It's because the kids, because who do the kids have for them? There's no one. There should be adults around looking out for them and being there for them. And there's nobody. I, I feel bad too, because I know like a couple years ago when that Drake thing came out with that young girl, I was like, oh, you know, I blew him off for it. Not knowing what the hell he went through. And like, to have to keep that like a secret for years, like that has to tear you up inside. Like, you know, this horrible thing has happened to you and yet you're just supposed to act like, oh, well, and then just brush it under the table like it's nothing. And to see his father cry when he found, when he, when his dad realized that the guy is the person that, that Brian Peck hurt was his own son. And I have no words for his mother. I don't feel it, think of her as a person because I just don't understand. As a mom myself, I'm a mother of two boys. They're adults now. But I cannot imagine putting my sons in any type of situation that would cause them harm. And it's just so awful and disgusting how he even treat how Dan Snyder treated his female employees. Like, it's disgusting. And I'll also go off on a tangent because I started watching because she was in the documentary. I believe her name is Alexa Roe Roez. I don't know how to say her last name. She was on the, f the first season, I think, of Zoe 101. And the funny thing is, when I watched it, I was like, they showed the clips from it. I always thought she was so pretty. She was like my favorite. Like, I didn't really watch that show too much, but I loved her on it. And to hear, like, I don't know if I ever heard her full story because I watched, I started watching her podcasts on YouTube. Oh my god, and like, I love them all, and I learned so much other stuff. Like, just yesterday, I watched the episode where there was a clip, um, Gabriel, Gabriel, Gabriel Iglesias, who was the, um, the comedian, he talked about how, like, it was fun being on all that, until it wasn't, and he stated that he for, had to wear this wig, and the wig had these bangs, and I, like, you couldn't see off for a certain part. And so I guess they all run out to the, like the end of the show's over and they roll around on stage. He's running, he runs into this beam. He wakes up, there's a firefighter standing on him asking him his name, where is he? Does he know where he is? He's like, yeah, yeah, I know her. And they had forms for him to sign, no one there to advocate for him. And he signed these forms protecting, to protect Nickelodeon, never mind that like, you know, he can have a concussion. Be... And then they go and fire him. So it's like, they don't protect you, they don't care, all you are, is a cash cow. All you are is like a product to them. You're not a human being. You don't have rights. You don't have anything. You're just a cash cow. And then they, they use you up and spit you out. And then they don't care. They don't care. Like, if, and they, their thing is to ruin you. Like, you're never working this industry again. That's ridiculous. This needs to be stopped. And I'm so glad. And I know yesterday, like, they raided Diddy's two residences. I hope something happens. Because this is ridiculous that for years... And it's funny how, you know, I feel that it's always those in power. And those in power have the money and know, have the right connections to, to, to harm anybody. And they don't care. It's like, you're not a human being. You're just a product. 
and it's disgusting and gross. And my heart goes out to Drake. My heart goes out to all those child stars. And I just hope the other people who are like, you know, acting like Dan Snyder's this great person, watch the documentary and talk to the victims, and then maybe you'll get a new, a new, see them in a new light. It's disgusting. This should never have went on. And frankly, I hope Nickelodeon's brought down. The only thing I was still watching Nickelodeon is SpongeBob. And I haven't watched it in a long time. But it's just disgusting and gross. And... But also, I just want to say, check out Alexa's podcast um, YouTube channel, which is Eat Predators. And I've watched so many episodes. And I also love the fact that she's against Scientology. And she called, there was one episode I saw where they had, she put it on the back on the, on the screen. And it's, they called it Predatorology. And I'm like, oh my God. And that's the thing. It's, it's, you have to do this for the kids. If no one else, if no one speaks for the kids, who will? This got to stop. This, I don't think... I don't know. They're gross and disgusting. And it still goes on every day. Which is disgusting. And the fact that victim blaming and oh, it's got to be talked about. 